this week's episode of Adam and Jake on the Movies. I'm Jake. I'm Adam. And every week we pick a movie, we talk about it, and we just, I don't know, we just kind of break it down. Whatever. Uh, so this week's movie, we've shifted gears from The Lighthouse. Yes. We did last week to a family favorite of most families, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation uh, came out in 1989, directed by Jeremiah Chechik, written by John Hughes, starring Chevy Chase as Clark W. Griswold. Do you have a, are you typing up a synopsis for us? As I'm typing, typing up a synopsis as you speak. All right. <laughs> So the synopsis to National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is the Griswold family plans for a big family Christmas predictably turns into a big disaster. That's the synopsis. Yeah, well, that's, that's, I I would say that's a pretty, pretty spot on synopsis. Yeah, I think so. Um, All right. So first thing, let me get my timer going here. Very, very picky with my timer. All right. Uh, You'd seen this movie before, right? What was that? You've seen this before? I, oh, yeah. Yeah, I have. Okay. What, um, what was your... How long has it been since you've seen it? You know, I'd probably... I'd seen bits and pieces of it every Christmas season. Okay, so it's been about a year. Yeah, but I, I don't know the last time that I actually, like, sat down and watched it all. Maybe, maybe three years ago, like, all of it. Okay. So what was your initial reaction this time through? Since since it's kind of become, I think this movie's like ingrained and we can't remember the first time we saw it. No. Um, uh, but this time through, were you actually thinking about the, the film itself? I was thinking, you know, I, I thought of it more in the lines of what we talk about on the show. And I think as far, and I also looked at it a little bit as far as like it being a sequel in a series of sequels, because there's quite a few of these National Lampoon Chevy Chase movies. Mm-hmm. Um, it's my favorite of them all, of you yeah. know, my favorite one. And I always have a good feeling and like a nostalgic feeling, of, you know, and it, it just kind of warms my heart. Like this, this family of, I don't want to say misfits, but a family of kind of misfits. And you've got Clark at the center trying to bring everyone together. All he wants to do is have this wonderful family Christmas of togetherness and all this havoc happens. Mm-hmm. But, um, I don't know. I'm always smiling and I have a warm feeling whenever I watch this movie, uh, even to this day. What about yourself? Yeah, I feel, I feel the same way. I think it's my favorite of them all. I'm trying to see if, uh, it was was written by John Hughes. I'm trying to see if he wrote the Vegas vacation one, but yeah, I would say there was, there was, there's the original vacation. There's the European vacation. Christmas Vacation and Vegas Vacation. Yep. I think of the, the four. I don't really consider the other ones to be involved in that yeah. process or in that in that world. But I, um, yeah, I think uh, it was it was nice to sit down and watch it again. I think it was a it's it's it just it doesn't it never gets old. No. There's some Christmas films that do get old, but this is definitely not one of them so rewatchable so rewatchable yeah it was just it was so much fun it like you just love to see the journey that he goes on and you know it's like episodes because they talk about with episodes it's like at the beginning of the episode somebody believe the main character believes one way by the end there's the arc and then by the next episode they've forgotten where they were before and they start all over again that's that's clark griswold every single one of these films is a new episode yeah and I think it, um, I think it, uh, it was just, it was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Hold on, I'm looking up this thing really quickly, just because I want to see. Uh, okay, Vegas Vacation. Uh, now, have you seen, have you seen all of them, all four of them? Of those four, yes. Okay, me too, me too. Vegas Vacation was not written by John Hughes. I think he'd gotten out of writing by then. And it's got a different tone to it as well. You know, yeah. it's, my, it's my least favorite of the four. I, mm, I would put European as my least favorite and then Vegas okay. is my second least favorite. I think is you, the, the very first one? Hmm? The, first, the first one? European? 
uh, the first, I think the first one's just the vacation where they okay. the cross country. Okay. The second one's European. I've only seen that one once, maybe twice, but it's been years ago. Yeah, I would say that one's probably my least favorite. Vegas is third, regular vacation second, and then this one's first. Okay. Um, okay, so what did you think about, oh, I said it puts me in a Christmas spirit. Uh, what is, what's something that you would change about this film? You know, I gotta be honest, as far as Christmas movies go, and now looking at this as a whole, I'm pr producing a Christmas, um, holiday Christmas special to be released, hopefully by Christmas. Okay. So this kind of helped jumpstart, like put the light under me. So I wouldn't change anything. I think I, 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 I wouldn't change anything. Nothing. What about you? Yeah, I was trying to figure out like scenes and stuff that I would change. Um, I, may, I part of me wants to say a little bit more cousin Eddie, but okay. another part of me is like it might be too much. Might be too much. He's just. I think in the original vacation, more cousin Eddie would be better. Yeah. But in this vac this vacation, I think he's just enough. He comes in right at the right moment. He's 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 kind of like he he's he was kind of like in a sense, like Vogue on the old show. He was just used enough and it elevated everyone else's game and everyone else rose to the challenge and he made them laugh just like Cousin Eddie. He comes in with, you know, himself. Just enough. Yeah. Um, all right, well, w w when we're talking about the Clark, I will we'll say Clark, well, I'm gonna say Clark's the main character. Uh, what about his arc? I'll take this one first. Okay. Um, like I was talking about a second ago, I feel like there is kind of, there, there definitely is an arc where he starts off wanting to like will this Christmas into existence rather than just enjoying what he does have of it, right? right? He's trying to make it perfect, but instead he just needs to enjoy what he's got. Um, but what, but I've really what I like about the arc of this, of his character is like I said, he starts over every episode, like every film he starts brand new and it's completely, it's just, which is funny because the kids like, like all start every, over. Every, isn't it a brand new set of kids every time? Yeah, I think the only, the the European one, did that, I don't think that used the same Rusty. I might have used the same Rusty. I don't know. The Rusty's was like Anthony Michael Hall in one of them. He was the original, he might have been Europe. Okay. European too. I'll check that while you talk about your thoughts on it. So my thoughts are kind of like yours is, uh, as far as Clark goes. It, I hadn't thought of it episodically like you have but now that you mentioned that i completely agree with you it's it's as if clark really hasn't learned that his best intentions his family it's not going to happen it's just not going to happen they're mm -hmm. not going to get to wally world wally world without a problem they're not going to go on the european vacation without some kind of a problem they're what makes him think that they're going to have a nice old family christmas holiday when everyone is coming to their house now, this is also the only um, vacation movie that takes place in one location. And the other ones, they're mm -hmm. traveling. This, so this is the only one that kind of feels like it's set. Uh, where are they? Chicago? A suburb of Chicago? Yeah, it's a, uh, Chicago suburb. Yeah. So, But yeah, I don't think he has an arc per se, but he reminds me of just a, he just wants that old fashioned Christmas cheer and holiday mm -hmm. family togetherness. But he doesn't learn that in his family, it's just, it's just not going to happen. It's it, what it is is what it is, and if you don't enjoy that, then you're yeah you're kind of out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I thought I think the same, and there was one other thing I was going to say about that, but I can't remember what it. Um. It, uh. Who's the, what's the guy? What's Rusty's name? Mike. Um. Anthony Michael Hall. Anthony Michael Hall is not Rusty in the european one is, so he, is he's rusty in this one though isn't he no uh the guy from big bang theory yeah is rusty in this one so they change it every single time because then in the the new one the vegas one it is i see his face oh, he was in sweet home alabama that thing you do he's got three names doesn't he is he in... uh not thomas uh embry yeah and uh 
Yeah, something Embry. Okay, I'll look it up while we yeah. while we move forward. Okay, um, moving on. Uh, what's <laughs> what was your favorite secondary your oh, your B list secondary. character? You know, I've got to say the. Um, I don't. I don't know if it's the grandmother or the great grandmother. Whichever one says sings the uh, the national anthem. Is that the great grandmother? That yeah. That's uh. Well, it's his grandmother. Okay. Thing. So I would I would say her. Yeah. I like, it. I, like I like I like her and I like his, her uh, her husband. They're both like old, set in their ways, but they're clueless. They don't know that they brought Jello with like what. Uh, cats have gotten into it. <laughs> you know, they, she doesn't know what's going on, so she just starts singing the national. She's just a clueless old lady, and they're just fun. Uh, I, I find him and her both fun. Uh, I'd say they had to be probably my favorite secondary. What's her name? Um, uh, Bethany. Yeah. Yeah. Bethany. May May Questel. Is her you know, it's weird, and I don't know if you think this or not, but I, I never really associate the name Bethany with someone old. Mm, no, it's definitely like a ruby or a or, a, or a rose, maybe rose. Yeah, Betty. Betty. Yeah, I never think of a Bethany as an old grandmother, but there are Bethanies that are old grandmothers. Yeah, there. <laughs> they'll they'll make a they'll, it'll make a swing back, but no, I I like her a lot. Um, I think cousin Eddie's great, but I'm gonna go with Todd and Margot. Okay. The neighbors. Oh, you know, I almost said the neighbors. I I very closely came to that. Julia Louis Dreyfus and some other guy. We still to this day like we have a lot of my family has a lot of quotes from this movie yeah and like our number one is i don't know margo that's like our favorite quote but i think they're so perfect because they're like the which here's another question why do they live in that suburban neighborhood because they don't dress like they would live there <laughs> they don't dress like it they don't act like it no like, they you should be living like in the city scale, like new yorkers or something yeah like why are you living in that neighborhood but i think that that juxtaposition just like is beautiful i think they're i think um julie louis drive is like totally pulls it off she just got the look and she's got the attitude for it and i love the, the I, I forget exactly what happened but i know she ends up punching What's his name? Todd. Todd in the face at yes. one point. And I always laugh at that <laughs> because in reality, he didn't do anything wrong. He really didn't. She's just, <laughs> somebody had to get punched in the face. Wasn't that after like the rafter or something came through the window? And then like some, I can't remember exactly. Uh, the tree branch, is it when the tree branch comes through? I can't remember. Or was it when the, um, after the, uh, was it after the squirrel? It may have been because... Oh, I yeah, because she, she gets attacked by the squirrel because Todd wouldn't go over there and deal with it. Oh, she yeah. comes back, and that's when she punches him in the face. Because they open the door, the squirrel jumps out on her, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Then she goes back, and that's when she punches him in the face. Yep, that was I it. Always, I, guess it I, I guess he did deserve it as well, yeah, now that I think about it. He didn't go over there. He should have. No. But... I, that always made me laugh. <laughs> there's a voice. There's, there's. They redub some a line during that, but they didn't redub it very well. It's it's out of volume, and I uh, think it's right know. there. And I always noticed it, but it was. It's not like super. You'd probably notice it if now that you're looking for it. But yeah, go back, and I think it's around that time as well. Okay, I have to. But yeah, those are some good uh, secondary characters. I'm glad you mentioned those. Yeah, big fan of those. Um, what do you think about the music? I thought it was, I mean, I thought it fit well. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't think it was anything special, but I thought it went well, it was complimentary to the, to the movie. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, it, it was fine with me. What about you? I, I actually really liked it. I think the, um, the, the Christmas Vacation song at the beginning with Mavis Staples, I think that one is phenomenal. It's a good one. It was the first movie they've done that hasn't done Holiday Road by Lindsay okay. Buckingham. Uh, but I actually tried to find that version of the Mavis Staples uh, Christmas Vacation one. I could not find it anywhere. Um, I thought that was good. The Melikali Gumaka 
Yeah. Did that scene really little, well. It was like doing the little fantasy sequence. Yeah, and then the Here Comes Santa Claus Gene Autry at the end when the cops are showing up. And like about you know what, to play you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to, yeah. And now that you mentioned these, yeah. It's, it's songs that we know pretty well, but they just, they just fit, I think, so, so well. So I think, I think they, they crushed it. And I've never uh, heard of this director. You mentioned the director's name. I, had, I had no idea. Yeah, no, I, I've never heard of him either. I don't know what else he's done. Um, I'll look that up. Uh, what, um, what about, what about your favorite scene? There's a lot of scenes in here. Oh, you know, he directed are... Benny and June. Okay. Benny and June looks like, and then he moved on to TV. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you have those two movies under your belt, that's not, you know. Yeah. Like, he seems to be more of like a director for hire other than like a director producing his own projects. Yeah. You know he what did I mean? The 98 version of The Avengers. I did actually see that in the theater. Oh. Okay. As, a, as a little kid. Um, uh, anyway. Um, so what would you think of, uh, what was your favorite scene? You know, if I had to narrow it down, one of my favorite scenes would be when, when Clark gets stuck upstairs in the attic. <laughs> and then he's sitting, and he's really cold up there, and then he sees his family drive off, and then he starts watching those old home videos. It's a sweet scene. It's a sweet scene, and then he's sitting there, and he's got, like, what, a robe and all this stuff on. He's got that, like, hair-drying turban on. Yeah, yeah. He loves. So he's in there, and you can see, you know, the, the, the breath. And yeah. then all of a sudden, his wife just pulls down the thing. <laughs> there he comes. And it's like at the sweetest moment. Yes. And then, boom, he's gone. Yeah. So I would have to say that's one of my favorite moments. I love the saucer, the, the sled saucer. Okay, yeah. When he puts the grease on the bottom of it, it and just, then he just, boom, he's like gone. It's just like a flash of lightning. Yeah. That, to me, is one of the funniest I had a couple other ones that I really liked. I love the animation at the beginning. I thought it was good. You did a good job. I uh, like the little scene where he's, you know, where he's talking that um, the lady that's showing him that lingerie, and then she that's even another. like, uh, oh, you can't see the line, can you? Can you Russ? And then he's like, oh. <laughs> so that little. There's a lot of good scenes in this movie. A lot yeah. of good. Scenes. It's just full of them. Um, so what's your what's your final thoughts on this film? My my thoughts. This episode went by really quickly. I know it really so, did. But my thought is I think most people probably have seen this movie and I think most people really enjoy it. And I think there's a reason that this movie has become a staple over I think it's been out 30 31 years it came out in 1989. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a reason for it. I mean it's a fun movie, it's a fa it's it's a family movie. There's a few, you know, vulgarities in there, but it's nothing kids I guess haven't heard. And I think that you could sit down and enjoy this movie with your family. You can watch it alone like I did. Um, you know, and it brought me out of a little bit of a sadness. So mm -hmm. that was good. And it's a fun, well-written, well-acted mm -hmm. movie. I think everyone does what they're supposed to, and they step up their game. And it's probably one of Chevy Chase's best movies. Yeah. What I would say, thoughts? yeah, I would say if you haven't seen this movie, then you're definitely missing out. I would say it's easily a top five. Even for me, I'd say a top three Christmas movie yeah. out there. I, what's great about it is that it's, it's, you know, so many Christmas movies are a little bit like fantasy, but this one is real and like has a bit of an edge to it, which I think is a lot of fun, but it's absolutely hilarious. Great characters. I watch it every single year and I'm going to continue to do so as long as I possibly can because I just yeah. think it's that good. I used to think Christmas Story was one of the better ones, but this, no. Nah, I think this one is definitely up near the top, if not the best. I think, I think so. I mean, I really do. I, what would be your, your number one Christmas movie? Hmm. I was, like, the movies that come to mind are this one, Home Alone, Elf, which is so cliche. <laughs> uh, I mean, Elf and is a fun old, movie, though. Four Christmases. Is okay. I, I, I was about, I was thinking with um, Vince, Vince Vaughn and uh, Reese Witherspoon. Okay. We, my family and I watch that almost every year and we really? cry laughing. Really? I've just seen it the time it, you know, the time it came out at the theater, I, I saw it then. But I have looked back over Vince Vaughn's filmography like the last month. 
and I wanted to revisit it because I had like four different Thanksgivings and it made me think of four Christmases, which is why, mm. why I looked it up and I was like, I need to revisit this and rewatch it again. Uh, yeah. I love that film. What would you say is your top? Oh man. I don't know. I mean, Christmas vacation would be one of them. Um, mm. Home alone. Mm. I do like the Jim Carrey Grinch movie. You're on an island all by yourself on that yeah. one. Yeah, not many people like that one. But I will say, I guess one of the reasons, I don't know if it'd be one of my favorite ones, but it's more of a nostalgic mm-hmm. nostalgia for me as well. Because a lot of good things were happening and it just takes me back to that whole time period. So it could be that more so than the movie. But also, I've not watched it a lot, but I do like the Polar Express. Okay. Like, it, it, it gets a bad rap. Have you watched it before? I saw it many, many years ago when it came out. See, I, I waited a little while, and then I saw it, and then I've seen it probably three times. And it's grown on me each, each year. But also, I would throw in, uh, if I had to throw in one more movie, Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Haven't, I don't think I've seen that one. It's a rough movie. Like you've got Billy Bob Thornton as a, you know, a vulgar Santa Claus, uh, alcoholic Santa Claus. And um, I think Tony Cox, his little sidekick as, as an elf and they're con artists. Mm. But um, it's, if you like that kind of movie, it's, you know, it's a fun movie. Would you put Trading Places as a, is it Trading? Yeah, Trading Places. with Eddie Murphy. Yeah, is that a Christmas movie? Wow, you know. He does play Santa for like five minutes in that Yeah, movie, maybe so. I don't think I've, I've only watched it one time, though. I, I really like that one. Oh, the, um, the old animation of The Grinch, I would put maybe up there. I do like the old animation of The Grinch better than the Jim Carrey one. Yeah, I, I would and, put that one up there. And I do like um, the movie that we're going to watch next week. Which I've never seen before. Now, been, so you've never seen this. So the audience, we're going to be doing uh, Die Hard next week. But there's been a debate for many, many years, and you'll probably see it pop up this Christmas, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? So after we view it this next week, we'll come to the, that. We could add that as one of our questions, maybe, if we consider Die Hard a true Christmas movie. We'll do that as our final thoughts segment. Yeah. Uh, we're and gonna I will do- say um, Die Hard does have um, one of the best uh, structures for screenplays like okay. first second and third act it was it was highly praised during uh when i was doing my mfa oh, oh. Nope. that's my timer time is up wow Perfect. so uh we're gonna do an early early one next week so we'll look for us to hop on here live monday monday sounds good monday probably so yep. if you're watching die hard make sure to watch it this weekend because we're going to talk about it early next week and we'll have uh, plug us show um, following next week too. The what? We'll have the other people show following Die Hard next yep. week. Well, We're gonna, we won't have the other people show this week, but we'll be back next week. Uh, plug our um, our stream. Yeah, so you can go to King Network TV on Roku TV. Please check that out. Uh, powered by Roku TV, we are on every Wednesday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at midnight. We are on. Yeah, and are, Jake, you are the face when you go I'm on the King face. Network. Have you seen it? KingNetworks.com, yes. I think. Um, you are the face of the video on demand. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, yeah. if somebody's got to be, I guess I'll take yes. it. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, we'll be back next week with Die Hard. So uh, this is Adam and Jake on the movies. I'm Jake. I'm Adam. See you next week. See you, man. Good show. Bye, guys. <laughs>